Kingstars.com on the line with the Georgia Peach Rashida. What's up? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, so how's everything going with you? You know what? I can't complain. I'm I'm working hard. I'm you know grinding. I'm recording a new album. I'm you know on the road constantly. I mean, I'm just blessed. So I can't really complain. That's what's up. You got the name for the album already? Um, I do, but I ain't telling you. <laughs> uh, I wanted you to break it here first. <laughs> All right. Well, I also wanted to, I wanted to start off by breaking some news to you that you already know. Um, what? You're nominated for a BET award. Yeah, I'm so excited about that. I'm so glad to be nominated to be for people to recognize um, me and all the hard work that I put in. And um, it's just a blessing. I was totally shocked when I found out. I, I found out through Twitter, actually. I saw it on Twitter and I was like, huh? And then I looked on there and saw some tweets from BET and I was like, oh, wow. None oh, but a blessing. Amazing. Congratulations on that. Thank you. All right. Um. Yeah, your Twitter, your Twitter following is major too. Uh, I wanted to ask you about the uh the mixtape because that was that was all over on um, Twitter. So were you surprised by the response you got? Um, you know what I. I totally was um, surprised and it, you know, I had kind of, you know, been talking about it and um, you streaming sometimes when I was in the studio and talking about the title and it's coming and it's coming. So when I finally dropped it and, um, you know, the initial like downloads and stuff for like the first day and everything went so well, I was really, really happy. And then all the feedback I was getting from people just really, really loving it and loving it. I mean, I get, I still get hundreds of tweets a day about the mixtape you know so it's just like a great thing i was really i put 27 songs on there so that was you know me really going in doing a lot of work <laughs> so i was um really really happy about it that's what's up i also wanted to ask you about uh dt again uh you were on a deal recently uh yeah. what was that experience like for you um it was great i mean like when they um, initially hit and said that they wanted to do something, I was like, okay, that sounds good. I would love to. And, I mean, I just immediately jumped in, did everything that they um, you know, had in mind or whatever, and it ended up turning out really, really good. A lot of people, you know, I got a lot of emails and phone calls and, and tweets about that as well, and people, you know, are just glad that they're starting to see me, you know, more on the mainstream level because I'm such an underground artist. You know, and an uh, independent artist on top of that. So I was real happy with it. I was I was glad with how they put everything together. And um, I've developed a good relationship with them. So it's a good look. That's what's up. So uh, before, like, the award nominations and everything, what got Rashida into writing and rapping? Like, what, what inspired you to start rapping, basically? You know what? Really, honestly, like, uh, being a little girl and looking at hip-hop artists tell their stories and the way that the music made me feel when I heard certain artists and I'm talking about even like old school old school stuff that you know was even before you know my time you know before like when I was really 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 young but just the whole style and the whole way of being able to express yourself and you know talk about the things that's going on in your hood and and put people up on different things and show different things and that's what I wanted to do I was like you know I want to talk you know I want to put my story out there I want to make people feel good I want people to feel good like how I feel when I hear certain records and and, and heard certain music and saw certain groups and you know and and, and trendsetters in the game you know what I'm saying so it just, I just started from there basically I was like you know what that's what I want to do I want to do music you're doing your job too I give you your props Thank you. Okay. Um, I'll ask you about this also. Uh, do you feel it's more difficult for a female rapper to make it in what is a male-dominated industry? Um, it is. I um, I definitely have to say that being a female, um, one of the hardest things is like gaining respect. And, it, and not just from, uh, not like just like a fan wise, but you know, if you're in a deal, you know, record company respect, DJ respect, radio respect, you know, getting out here and really, really, you know, building something and, 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 and trying to go down that right lane because as females, you know, a lot of times 
we have to be strategic about the things that we talk about in records. When it comes to males, they can just say pretty much whatever, and it's just like, okay, cool, yeah, we love it. That's hot. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to females, it's just like, mm, I don't really know. I don't really know if I'm feeling that. But one thing that I feel is really, really good right now is the the look for the female is to the forefront at this point. You know what I'm saying? It's like right. really, really coming back. Like people are anticipating. They're wanting to hear females on records. They're wanting to see females perform. They're wanting to hear more female music out there. And that's the the beneficial side of it. Like I'm look I'm so glad it's there now instead of, you know, a little less of, you know, us being really out there. Right. Okay, so um I wanted to ask you I also just see this on Twitter like the BBC movement. Uh, can you tell us about it? Um, it's the BBC is the boss, bitch, click. <laughs> and that's um, <laughs> myself, Candy, Tiny, Toya, Diamond, something that we was just talking about one day. And we was like, you know what, really, the BBC is really all the chicks out here in the world who doing their thing, who just, you know, holding it down, who's making moves, who's empowering, you know, single mothers out here doing what they have to do to make things work, you know, college students, just everybody, I, every woman out here really trying to, you know, make her way and, 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 you know, being in control and being independent and being confident. And that's something that we um all, you know, kind of come together. We do different events and, and stuff like that, representing, you know, for all the strong women out here and the men. Of course, we love all the fellas, but don't get it twisted. But, you know, we're also no, just no, empowering no. females. <laughs> So yeah, that's what it is. That's what's up. All right, I asked everybody this question. Uh, if you could use one word to describe your flow, what word would it be? Um, you said I'm sorry. You said one word to do to. What did you say? I'm sorry. Describe your flow, like your uh, rap style, basically. Um, one word to describe my flow would be. Fly, no. <laughs> unique. That's a, that's a good one. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> I mean, really, I, I've always been the type of artist who did my own thing, you know, and stayed in my own lane, and you know, just created my own trends, and that's something I'm going to continue to do at a you know bigger scale as things continue to go on for me. Easy, that's what's up. All right, so everybody looking for you online. You want to shout out your Twitter, MySpace, anything so I'm to find you? Of course, please follow me on Twitter. I am at Rashida G A Peach. It's R A S H E E D A G A P E A C H. And also come to my YouTube page and subscribe. My YouTube is youtube.com forward slash D L O 117. That's D L O 117. And what else? I do have a MySpace as well. It's myspace.com forward slash Rashida G A Peach. And that's about it. All right, cool. Well, I just want to tell you, I'm really excited about the interview. I was free, but, but not in my mouth and everything, so I could be right there. <laughs> oh, but, so just to make sure I wasn't through the phone, right? Just, just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs>